our family. And this is our home. We've been living and traveling around the world since 1998. But it didn't always look this way. See, for the first 14 years, it was just Bruno living out of a 1988 Toyota Land Cruiser. 400,000 kilometers around the world later, I showed up. Over the next five years, we traveled overland through Africa, the Middle East, Europe, and North America. In 2017, we sold our Land Cruiser and converted a shuttle bus into our next home on wheels. Oh yeah, and we had a baby. We are Wandering Footsteps, and this is our story. talking to you today from the Pacific coast of Mexico. So we finally left the mountains after being there for almost a year and we have decided to hit the beach. And if you can't hear me really well, that is because behind me there are some waves and they're pretty loud. <laughs> this video I've just decided just now that it's going to be about uh, our reusable or cloth diapers and how we have them and wash them and use them while living in a bus. And the reason that this video uh, idea came up right now is because we are in the middle of nowhere and we are having trouble doing just that. We are having trouble finding a way to wash them. I'm going to take you through a little bit more about our cloth diapers, how they work, how we have made them work in our bus. But before that, we're gonna have a little bath and do a few things to keep cool in this very, very hot morning on the beach. Checking in with you, it's almost lunchtime and I haven't really filmed at all the rest of the morning because something laundry related happened that kind of made our plans totally shift. So Bruno and I were sort of looking ahead to where we're gonna go when we leave this place and it doesn't really look like we're ever gonna be in any big towns or places that are sure to have laundromats nearby. So the future of washing our diapers and washing our clothes and sheets and towels in general was looking kind of tenuous. So we asked around here where we are now and it so happens that there's a laundry machine at the restaurant next door and for a small fee, they offered it to us. So we took advantage to wash like all of our sheets and towels. I also took advantage of the time to clean the entire bus. It had been a couple of weeks and I like to clean the bus when we do change our sheets and towels. Kind of just makes everything feel clean. So my morning has been spent for the past hour and a half cleaning the bus from top to bottom and Phoenix and Bruno have continued with the water play as you saw. So yeah, I just thought I would insert this just to show you that like doing laundry in general, not just diapers, is can be a bit of a challenge and an unknown living in a bus uh, and so when an opportunity arises where you can use a washing machine you go for it i'm gonna go whip up some lunch now for the boys and hope that the afternoon will be a little bit more relaxing than the morning was catch you guys later we've been at the same campground for a few days now and even when we came here we didn't have much in the way of fruit and vegetables just we're kind of in an area where there isn't much so we're running low on all that right now and so I'm whipping up uh, some lunch that doesn't involve too many veggies because we just don't have any and it's actually one of my staple recipes and I wanted to show you how to make it it's a sunflower pate it's super super easy right Phoenix all right so all you need to do is put a cup of soaked sunflowers in a food processor, add some celery, 
red onion or shallot, a couple of tablespoons of lemon juice, and then we're gonna put some thyme and some herbamere, which is like a salt al alternative, and pepper. That's it. Phoenix, can you help me press this button? This one. So that's what it looks like. Just a nice little sort of thick pate-ish dip. We're gonna put that in between some bread and have the last of our veggies in a salad. Diapers, which have only been around for about 50 years, take 500 years to decompose, which means not a single diaper has ever decomposed yet. As a species, humans use 27 billion diapers a year, times 50 years that they've been around. And the diaper diapers are the third largest consumer waste product in the world. So those facts alone made me want cloth diapers. So, um, before I get into how it works in a bus, let me just quickly show you, just for those of you who aren't familiar with a cloth diaper, what it looks like. So, I've got an orange one here, a pink one, a yellow one. Um, basically, this is what they look like inside. I've got a double layer here. I also have some inserts for nighttime. And then if you can see here, there's a bunch of snaps. This is just so that it adjusts to the baby's size. So we actually use these from day one with Phoenix, though so they were definitely big at the beginning. These were actually gifted to me by, by my cousin. She gave me 24 of these and she had used them for her baby. So Phoenix is the second baby. And the other stuff that I've got that I think is essential is these sort of bags, wet dry bags, when the diaper has been used, you throw it in there. We use these all the time. This is where we put all his dirty diapers and we just zip it up. And that way um, it doesn't smell, theoretically. It smells a little bit, but the last thing that I have, which I think is really great to have, is I've got these cloths, which are also washable. And I put my, can you put your hand inside? I actually never do, but you can. Um, and I've got tons of these and so I just throw these in with the dirty diapers and they get washed the same So those are kind of like the three things that we've got Maybe if you've never looked at cloth diapers that seems intense or Like overwhelming, but let me tell you that if you live in a house and especially if you have a washing machine But even if you have your local laundromat where you go like it's really the learning curve is very fast Seriously, seriously, you get in a routine, it's really easy at home, in the bus. I would say it definitely takes a lot of dedication. Cloth diapers have probably been the most difficult aspect of us living in a bus with a baby. So, forewarned. We moved into our bus when Phoenix was four months old, no, four and a half months old, and we had our 30 reusable reusable diapers and paraphernalia. We were traveling through the U.S. at the time and and the U.S. is has got plenty of laundromats, self-service laundromats, which is very convenient. We did, however, spend essentially half a day every two days in a laundromat getting them clean because with 30 diapers and a very young baby, we were going through a lot of diapers. And that's actually why we got an air conditioning because it was summer at the time and being parked for several hours in a parking lot, it was just very, very hot. So yeah, we broke down and got an AC and it was 100% related to diapers. I think that that was the most dark and difficult period of our bus life because I feel like our lives revolved around where is the next laundromat? So we weren't able to, to chill at remote places for very long. We were often looking for campgrounds that had laundry machines there so that we could actually stay longer. I mean, yeah, life for sure revolved around diapers, but 
I guess life with young babies revolve around babies anyway, so it's not really news. I forgot to mention that something that we decided to do from birth, but really from four months, just a few weeks before we moved into the bus, is we started, we got serious about EC, or elimination communication, which is basically infant potty training. And we got one of these tiny potties for Phoenix when he was four months old, and he immediately did pee and poo inside it. It was crazy. Um, you've probably, if you've been following us for a while, you've probably seen this in the background of like many photos and videos because it's always with us. Basically, Phoenix was poop trained at six months old, which I don't even know how I did it. I think it just happened. And that has definitely made um, having cloth diapers in a bus a lot easier. Also related to EC is that Phoenix was out of daytime diapers at 17 months old, which is on the young side for most Western kids these days. And so basically as Phoenix has grown up, we've had fewer and fewer diapers, the need for fewer and fewer diapers, which has meant that we've been able to go more and more days without needing a laundromat. So EC has been a huge part of our success in making cloth diapers work in a bus. In Mexico, if they have laundry services, so you bring your dirty clothes, or in our case, dirty diapers to somebody, they clean them, dry them, fold them, and then you pick them up, and you're ready to go with a new set of clean diapers. It sounds amazing, and it is in a way. There is a, There are a couple of downfalls which I see. The first is that it usually takes them about two days to get the diapers back to you, and so you need to have more diapers and then also you don't have control over the wash cycle. I can say that our diapers are definitely um, getting ammonia smell in them and would require a little bit of extra TLC with a couple of downfalls, but that's how it works in Mexico. So basically we show up in a town or we show up in a new place, we park our bus and like one of the first things we look for is like, where is the nearest laundromat? If we're in a town, there's almost always one within walking distance, but there have often been cases where we're far away from a town and we have to drive or take a taxi to get to a laundromat um, and then have to stick around for a couple of days while we wait for, that, for the diapers to get clean. So it definitely does have some, some constraints to it and sometimes there's just no laundromat in sight or seemingly no laundromat in sight and then you have to do a third option which is what we had to do a couple of days ago when we arrived here. Hand wash our diapers. Obviously we did not know at the time that there would be machine access so it's not an ideal situation. They don't get that clean. It's really labor intensive, especially the rinsing process because they are very thick. But you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do. And we are grateful that we have access to water and also that there's only pee in the diapers. So yeah, third option, rare, but yes, hand washing our diapers. That is basically my spiel. This is how we have made cloth diapers work while living full time in a bus. The short answer is it's tough. It takes dedication. In Phoenix's lifetime, we will have saved about 7,000 diapers from ending up in the landfill. And that in itself to me is worth all of the stress and struggle. I'm gonna go for a walk on the beach now, maybe a swim and maybe we'll show you a little bit of footage of the rest of our day on the Pacific coast of Mexico. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please do give us a thumbs up below, help support our channel, and think about subscribing, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Let me know if you think we are totally insane. Bye.